Let's talk equivalent expressions. So when we're looking at equivalent expressions, we're rewriting something to simplify it and make it a little bit less congested looking. So on the first one, we're just gonna do the distributive property. We do five times the number in front of X, which in this case is just one. So five times one would be five. And then we do X times the X. So because there's an X here and there's an X here, we wanna multiply those two things together. X times X is X squared. And so we have 5x squared. And then we go on and we move to the next term inside the parentheses, which is the plus 4. 5 times 4 is 20. And so it's a positive 20. And because there's only the 1x here and there's not an x after that 4, we're just going to take that x along with us. And we get 20x. Now, in our second one, we can do a different model, which is kind of like an area model. And we're going to rewrite this where we put the number that's on the outside outside the box right here like this and then we're going to put the terms 3x on top of the first box and then the plus 5 on top of the second box and then we can rewrite it a little bit differently so it looks like an area of a square 2 times 3 is 6 x times x again x squared and then we do the same thing all over again the this side times that side 2 times 5 is 10 the X is only in this part right here, so we're just gonna have it come along with us. And so our finalized answer here would be 6X squared plus 10X. So that would be how I did it. So if you've got two different methods to do how you want, um, whichever one, let me know in the comments which one you like to do first or best, the first one or the second one. And let's try that last one on your own. How do I get an answer for 7X times X minus two? Let me know in the comments what you think, and don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. Check these out in my equivalent expressions playlist on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at U1 Algebra. Save it for later, and I'll see you soon.